Foruzza Basketo. Hi, I'm Christina Senpai. That's what I'm calling myself now, so just roll with it. Welcome back to another episode of me talking about things that I like. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Fruits Basket, aka the love of my life. Sorry, Christian. Now, if you clicked on this video, you probably know all about it, but if for some reason you don't, like I didn't up until five months ago, um, let me just give you a little bit of background on it. Fruits Basket was a manga series originally published back in 1998 by artist Natsuki Takaya, getting its first anime adaptation in 2001. I've never seen the first adaptation and had heard little whispers about the show until its reboot released earlier this year in April, where I watched it for the first time. And holy shit, it was love at first sight. It was like I had been waiting for this series my entire life. Am I being a bit dramatic? Maybe. But even though there have been many animes that I have fallen in love with, there have been none as instant as this. I was hooked by the first two minutes of the episode. I already wanted more. By the third episode, I had joined a Fruits Basket fan club on Facebook and had heard all about how this adaptation was going to be way better than the last one because it's going to follow the manga and actually finish the story and I was like, oh my god, I feel so lucky to be involved in this right now. <laughs> Thank you. And typically I don't start the manga until after the season has finished because I don't really want to go over what I've already just watched and I just want to get to the juicy parts. <laughs> um, or the parts that I'm like, I need answers to so bad. But by the 10th episode of this, I just needed to know what happens. I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, okay, let's, let's just read it. It's fine. I was going to start reading it online, but the translation seemed a little off um, on the websites I had found. So I was like, uh. but luckily it all fell into place when I saw that Barnes and Noble was giving out free fruits basket posters with a purchase of a manga. Um, from Yen Press. It, they were doing buy three, get the fourth free, and I was like, listen, this is as good as time as any because they had just, well, I don't think they just released the collector's edition, but they definitely had the collector's edition there um, for me to purchase. I was like, this is the best, this is a blessing from Jesus Cristo himself. He was like, girl, you want to read Fruits Basket? I got you. I was like, you. Thank you, Jesus. You really did that. So anyway, after the sign that I got from the higher power, I I purchased the first four volumes of it. Well, not the first four. I bought two through four. This, no, two through five. I bought these four the first time um, because I had already read. I'd already seen like ten episodes, and basically the first volume covers like all ten episodes that was covered. I don't know how to. Basically the first volume already covered everything I'd seen already, so I was like, perfect! And this is just, this had like maybe two episodes that I had already watched in it, so it's like I was starting from like a good place. So it was really good when I bought it. I have all of them now except for the first one, so now that's like, I'm missing it just to have it in my collection. But um, yeah. It follows the manga pretty closely, like, I would say there's like tiny, tiny little like details that are a little different, but that's, that's, that's it. Other than that, it's perfect. According to my camera roll, I purchased these on June 11th, and I finished reading the manga on the 27th of July. <laughs> yes, I have very specific dates for this. I know, it's very, it's not, it's not that I remember, it's just, it's in my phone, okay? I literally recorded a video of me crying, and I will put it here for you to see. I cried a million bittersweet tears. I could not tell you how many tears I have shed for this series. Like, I have laughed, I have cried, I have felt almost every single emotion you could feel reading this. That's why I love it so much. I really feel for the fans of the original who had watched it and then they didn't get the, like, they didn't really get any answers and it didn't really, like, match up to the manga, you know, some of them have gone on to read the manga now so they know the full story and it's great, but there are other people who just watched the anime and was like, this is kind of a bummer, like, I love all these characters, but what's the ending? Like, so I'm so happy that they're gonna get to have this too, like, not only do I feel so happy to be able to enjoy this, but people who have loved this for years are finally gonna get answers and they're finally gonna see everything that they've read animated and, and come to life and it's just it's so beautiful like there's so many emotions <laughs> a lot of people look at fruits basket as some super cute shoujo series and do not get me wrong it definitely is but there's just so much more to it than that every character has something that they've been through whether it be something traumatic 
heartbreaking, unbelievable. But with the help of the main character, Toru, who also has gone through some tremendous loss, but she somehow remains positive through it all, they continue to want to live and find love and happiness. It's really a true testament to the human spirit. With all that being said, let us now discuss an obvious element this show has going for it. An endless supply of poppies. Hyo, Haru, Haturi, Shigure, Yuki, Ayame, yes in that order. <laughs> Even Momiji becomes a full-fledged poppy later on. As many characters have pointed out in the show and in the manga, the Soma men are fine, okay? <laughs> I have a weakness for hot anime boys. Don't judge me. I feel like everyone definitely ends up with who they're supposed to in the end, so don't argue about the ships, okay? <laughs> Which most people I feel like are pretty chill about it and there's really not too, uh, sh there really isn't any shipping wars going on in the, in the community, so that's nice. And I know that Yuki is a good boy though, and he definitely deserves all the love that he receives later on, so. Don't worry if you're worried about Yuki, don't you be worried, he's gonna be fine, okay? Kyo is a ginger sundere after my own heart. He kind of reminds me of Christian a little bit. <laughs> Hatsu Haru is like, just... <sighs> if Kyo was not in this show, Haru would definitely be my favorite character because he is the absolute best and I love him so much. Hatori is just too pure and precious for this world. <laughs> we don't deserve him. Shigure is literally and figuratively a dog. Not the good boy kind, though. He's kind of a dick, but but he has his reasons, and I love him anyway. Ayame, there are just no words to describe him other than amen for his existence. And Momiji is a sweet baby boy who deserves the world. As for the rest of the Zodiac characters, I absolutely adore Kisa and Rin. I want to protect. Hiro is another Sundara cutie, and I absolutely adore his mom. Kagura is meh, to be honest. A guy She's not my favorite character. I don't hate her, but she's just like not my favorite. She's like my least favorite, basically out of everyone. I definitely prefer Ritsu over her, that's for sure. And last but not least, my zodiac sign, the rooster. Um, Kureno, 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 Kureno? I don't know, they haven't said it out loud, so I don't know how to pronounce it. He's pretty chill, he's got a really good heart, and he plays a pretty big role in the story, so I'm not gonna go too much into him. Other than the members of the Zodiac, some characters I absolutely adore are Hanajima, um, which I hope to cosplay her someday soon because she's the greatest, and Uo-chan um, and Manabe, who we meet later on in the story. I have gotten two of my friends into this show so far. Um, I'm like basically converting people to the Church of Fruits Basket. <laughs> Here is a testimony from one of our members. <laughs> Christina, 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 Fruits Basket. I can't stop thinking about it. I, wow, I like, I love that show. I really, really do. Especially that last episode with the little tiger. Remember when you told me to tell you when I, when I like cried? Like, I've had like that lump in your throat moment a couple of times watching the show and like definitely been sad but like I literally had to like pause that episode when she calls her like little sister or no sorry she says like big sister uh oh I like I welled up I was like oh my god that's so cute <laughs> that was Melissa she has become a fruits basket stand too and so can you okay if you're not already you better hop aboard the show is the shit like a lot of other animes I've watched I don't know how I've gone so long without experiencing this in my life but I'm so glad that I have it now I just want to say bless the anime gods for giving this another shot and rebooting it for the world to see so that now there are new fans like me who was living under a rock in 2001 apparently to the veteran Fruba fans I just want to say thank you so much for being such, like, the nicest, the kindest fandom I've ever been a part of. The coolest people. I also want to give a huge thanks to the author, Takaya Sensei, who wrote this, like, Arigato. That's, like, one of my favorite things you've I've ever read in my life. So, um, thank you for creating that and coming up with these characters that have brought so much joy to me. And that is just, that's just real. That's the tea. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm accepting an award. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. I also want to know, tell me what your Chinese zodiac is in the comments below and who your favorite Fruits Basket character is. Thanks again for watching. I've been your 26-year-old senpai, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!